The nationally ranked ETSU Buccaneers will open Southern Conference action Saturday at 4 o'clock in Charleston, South Carolina, when they face the Citadel Bulldogs. This will be the first road game for new head coach George Quarles, but he knows what the Bucs are up against because he's coached against that triple option while as an assistant coach at Furman. The Bucs have won four, have won three of the last four, while four of the last five meetings have been decided by one possession. Coach Quarles and his players know the Citadel will try and hold the ball as long as possible and then try and catch you off guard by throwing over the top. But the Bucks say they'll be ready. They just lure you, rock you to sleep like a little baby. And then when you're not expecting to play, they'll raise up and throw a ball and just hit for big numbers. New offense, I think more so we're just going to go in there and just try to do what we do to the best of our ability, knowing what they're going to do, but still just focus on us. Because at, at the end of the day, we believe if we focus on us and do the things that we need to be doing, you know, there's not much that can stop us. The number of snaps that we're going to get offensively, it's going to go down. You know, you're not going to get as many snaps as you normally do. So the ones we get, we need to have quality snaps. We need to make sure we take advantage of, of the snaps. And, you know, and obviously it's important to be in the lead. If you plan on going over Saturday for the game, then I strongly encourage you to stop by the 15th annual tailgate party with former ETSU Buccaneer Herman Jacobs and former Citadel Bulldog Mark Bonacani, who was paralyzed while tackling Herman inside the dome back in 1985. Former ETSU head coach Mike Ayers is also scheduled to be at the event. Herman will join us on the morning monster, 6.40 a.m. tomorrow at 8.30.